right, we're gonna pull the 6500 generator down to the well and see if we can get some water pumping here. Tight. Cut it off and then redid it. Could always do that. Yeah. Cable cutter. Like good quality pipe. Yeah, it's not not the crap, that's for sure. Like up in right up the shower up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rust from the pipe or something in there. Taking it off right there, that looks like new tape on it. Oh, yeah. Now I need oh, pliers, yeah. which I don't have any. Of course. I'll get it. It doesn't have that fitting? Oh, wait a minute. Here we no, go. okay. Got them both. Just right there, but it's not gonna work. God damn it. Want see 20 on our dial. Where was it? Oh, here it is. That's 120, 240, 120 only, okay.
there we go. Water. We got water. you anyway you are going to work these lovely gas loaders they'll keep you safe though yeah really you never is. pour gas wrong with one of these lovely protective nozzles If a bear ever comes around, we could just use a backfiring generator to scare it off. Point it at him. <laughs> well, we probably got about a quart of water up in there in the tank. Oh, right? <laughs> yeah, right, though. <laughs> I'm filling it up because it's going to work. It's going to work. The valve's open. gonna work. We don't know what's happening up there. It might just be running out. Somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna have to follow the line up. No idea. And if as soon as we walk away from this, it's gonna stop. <laughs> yeah, I figure when you get it going, I'll follow the line up and expose it. Okay, here we go. Take two. I knew it. It just wanted gas. Come on. Oh, you dog. You dog. <laughs> uh, just wasted a gallon of gas in there. Welcome boys and girls to the New Garden Group and Star Bear Adventures. So, to bring you up to date, we got this place and it's full of broken equipment, uh, mostly from sitting around too long, generators, pumps, all kinds of chainsaws, all these things, and they're all doing the same thing. They run good for a while, letting us know they work, and then they crash. 
So rust, old gas, uh, probably water and everything. But because I'm such a genius, I decided to go ahead and try to run these things, just putting new fuel in it. And the other generator, the 6500 Honda, which is much quieter and it was free, probably got full of rust and who knows what and would not work for us at least very long, enough to get my face wet. So in order to fix all that, we went and bought this. Now, these things are very heavy. You've got to go down the hill to where the well is. So we didn't want to lift it in the truck because we want to use the truck for other things. So we had this trailer here and we figured it went to the ATV, but there's no hitch on the ATV. So we found this hitch in the yard and thought, well, they used it, people previous used it haul around vehicles. So we hooked it all up. Well, it won't stay on it. Uh, I guess the hitch, the hitch itself is not walk functioning properly. So in order to remedy that and get it down the hill, we did this. Not recommended to do this at home and definitely not on the freeway. We got that sucker tied on. So, but we're going a short ways and it's down a mountain. So if it does come off, it'll keep going down the mountain without us. And uh, next thing you know, we'll be down there and we'll show you what happens or not. Started there again. Oh, you got water in there. Pictures on the hill. Uh huh. Uh, I think we just let it go. Sploosh. Run in one position. Choke. Okay, that way is choke. Gas on. So it just. Maybe just have to break her off for a minute.
All right, so we're checking out the water tanks. The generator didn't work for pumping, but we followed the lines up and saw which one feeds it and all that. I'm six foot two. Very large water tanks, 5,100 gallons. connections here this side feeds in the water pumps up here comes up goes in all these different lines here to the top of the tanks and fills the tanks from the top and then at the bottom you can see the valves coming out and those connect to this other side and the right side now we're gonna figure out which one goes to the house have all the other ones shut off other than the intake valve, the, the filling valve, and see where that all leads. Come up here and see what it looks like. Lovely branches. Bit of a mudron branch came down in the middle there. We'll get it rid of. Oh. Feeders, feed. He looks very small compared to the tanks here. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got our generators going or pumping our water now and I just hiked up this here hill and followed the water line that pumps up the water up the hill checked all the connections hose clamps and everything there was a little leak I ended up fixing came up here followed it up so on the right side here we have our fill lines there's six tanks so there's six fill lines and right now I have five of them turned off and one of them turned on and it's filling the main first tank on the other side there on the left side is our out lines so this is where the water flows out and right now they are all closed other than the main house line this goes to the house that way and then down to the house so I I think what I'll do right now is I'll turn the house one off, have it just storing water. This one goes down to the yurt and it is empty. This one, uh, is it this one? Yes, this one right here ends about 10 feet down. And then that one there goes down to, I believe, the second garden. All six lines, all of that, and we'll go up here and see how well we can hear the water running. Okay, so the one that's filling right now is this middle. Should be able to hear it. So that's a great little update. And uh, we're looking forward to getting some water running here. We're gonna end up cleaning the tanks and uh, making it real sanitary and all. But there's a little water update, loving it. Back here, that one was leading to an open tank. I'm gonna follow it down here. It leads to this that has no valve. So that one we figured goes to the house. Follow it down. Okay. So we know which one that and that goes to the back tank. So they run one tank off of that. When that's empty, there was a valve that ran two more tanks into this line. So you had two backups. 
Oh, that's cool. So that's 10, 15,000 gallons that weren't canned under this. See the bushes. Then buried it under the road. And it goes off to the house. Let's see what we can find at the house when it connects in. <laughs> 